What's good guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a very special video because I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been reading and what I'm currently reading. And I'm going to give you guys a little review about all the books that I've read. You know what I mean? Because I haven't updated you guys in a minute, man. It's been a long time. My last book review was on November 2nd, 2023, fam. Which is insane because I've been reading, you know? So I, it's not like I haven't had it anything to like make a video on or it's not like there, ha there hasn't been a book that i couldn't review i've just been i don't know i've just been lazy i guess what i'm currently reading is this book right here is to kill a mockingbird which is uh you know pretty solid i do like it so far i'm barely on so i'm, I'm at the beginning of part two which is chapter 11. so yeah man that's where i'm at right now and i like it so far it has a lot of um just really cool characters. I'm really, I really like how it's from the perspective of the daughter, and like the main, and she's the main character. It's from her point of view, but the whole time she's talking about Atticus, which is her, who is her father. And yeah, man, Atticus just seems like a really cool character. He just seems like very strong and wise, and you know, it talks about how he's the oldest, how he's older than usual parents, you know than most of the parents in the town, you know what I mean? He likes to read, he goes to work, he likes to read, he's a lawyer, and the whole like point of the book is how Atticus is a lawyer and he's, and they live like in very like racist times and you know, none of their neighbors really support that Atticus is defending a black person at, in court. And Atticus knows that he's most likely going to lose, but he said that if I don't do this case, then I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. It's just that important to him. Even though he knows he's, he might lose, it's just important to him that he tries, which is really cool, man. And cool, I'm excited to finish it. I'm excited to read the rest. So yeah, man, this is a, this is a good book right here. This is a good book. All right, so before I get into the other books now, let me show you guys what I'm gonna read next. And this is the Song of Achilles. I only read the first chapter and I thought it was so cool. I'm definitely gonna be reviewing um, this book, I'm going to be reviewing To Kill a Mockingbird, and I'm going to be reviewing The Song of Achilles, but this book is so cool. I already read the first chapter, and it, it got me hooked, fam. I almost put down To Kill a Mockingbird, but I just want to finish To Kill a Mockingbird, and then I'll finish this song, and then I'll finish uh, this book. I'm going to start off with uh, No Longer Human. This book, this is one of the books that, like, that really got me excited to read. Cause I watched of, uh, cause I used to watch PewDiePie back in my day. I still do every now and then. Um, but he started making book reviews, and this is one of the books that he reviewed, and it, and the way he described it just made me like, it made me want to read the book. It got me excited to read the book. It made me want to get into reading, and yeah, it's this book right here is called No Longer Human. It's such an incredible book, like. It's just about how this guy, you know, he seems pretty innocent and you could still, at the end of the book, still think that he's innocent, but, you know, even though he does horrible things, you could still be like, you could almost make excuses for him. You almost don't want to believe that he's bad because, you know, just so many things in his life went wrong that things that weren't in his control, you know, it makes you feel bad for him, but, and there's going to be a spoiler because I'm going to read the last I'm gonna read the way the book ends. This is the way that the book ends before it goes into the epilogue. And the epilogue is really good too, but I'm just gonna read the last. I'm just gonna read the way the book ends because I thought it was, I just thought it was really good. Like, insane. I actually like almost made me cry. So spoiler alert, if you don't wanna hear this, skip to, just skip 10 seconds ahead if you don't wanna hear this. Because uh, this was such, an incredible way to end the book and like just hearing this it's like damn what a book from like i don't know i don't know all right so the way the book ends is this year i am 27 my hair has become much grayer most people would take me for over 40. it's like damn it hits bro it hits just by reading that you can just tell like how he's lived a long life a life that just full of downs, little ups, downs, and just ups. 
he just had enough ups just to get him to the next down and then just enough you know just over and over again so uh yeah man and another really cool detail about this book is how is how this is supposed to be a fiction book but it is almost like if the author if the author was writing about his own life but he made it seem like it was all fiction because I, there is a point in this book where i believe he did that twice in this book the first time he tried killing himself with his first wife and he survived and the wife didn't so he just lived on lived on with the guilt and he tried doing it again but he tried killing himself again he threw himself into the river he to kill himself again and this time he finally succeeded and one year after this book was released the author killed himself the same way so it makes you think like was it not a fiction book and was he really just writing about his own life and you know it's it makes you think like i don't know i haven't done that much research i'm not gonna lie but i just that that's such a interesting detail you know that's a little interesting fact about the book i guess all right let me review now this is the book that i said i was going to read in the last book review i said that this was our next book and it was the outsiders and this is a book that my girlfriend actually gifted me um i think she gifted gifted it to me for christmas i believe i think so but yeah, man, it's The Outsiders. But yeah, man, it's The Outsiders. What a classic book. You know what I mean? I was supposed to read this book in school, but something happened and my teacher left. I got a new, we had a substitute for the rest of the year and we never ended up finishing this book or getting to read this book. But yeah, man, this was a solid book. Honestly, I think it's a book that is definitely like a book that you'd read in middle school but I did like it. It's a, the story ended up going somewhere like I did not expect it to go. I did not expect the story to be how, how it was. All right, man. So the main character in this book is Pony Boy. And basically the main, and basically they get into a whole bunch of shenanigans. You know, it's a pretty cool book. I think the, like the world that it takes you in is really cool. Just like the era that it's in. Cause it's like during greasers, I guess. And uh, so yeah, the main character is in a greaser gang and he's like, He's the youngest one in the gang and but yeah everyone's like it's just really cool there's really cool characters in this book it's really cool how they how you get to know everyone in the gang and uh yeah man but this is definitely a book that you'd read in middle school like it's definitely that level but i still think it's a fun book to read and the ending was pretty cool and uh yeah man just not it's not my favorite book but i am glad that i read it and yeah man it's just a classic it's just like a book that you read just to say that you read you know but but it is a book that it is a classic for a reason and it is a good book and uh yeah man if you want to read a, a cool fun book about greasers and stuff like that go ahead man this is the book for you this book is called the way of the superior man a spiritual guide to mastering the challenges of women work and sexual desire insane book people are people are honestly like so weird how they say like this is the bible for men but i don't know people who say that have clearly never read the bible because the bible definitely teaches you how to be a man and what it means to be a man what it means to be a woman you know like the bible teaches you everything you could that could be the only book that you ever read and you'd be good and you could read that book so many times like you know, I'd honestly love to uh, talk about the Bible at some point in this on this channel, but uh, we'll get to that. But right now we're on The Way of the Superior Man, and I think this is honestly a good book. One of the things that that first like come to mind when I think about this book is how if you want to grow closer to your partner, it doesn't mean, oh, go, go see her every day, go visit her every day. If you want to grow closer to your partner, you need to create distance. You need to let the love grow fonder, you know? Distance makes the love grow fonder. And that's pretty much, that's one of the chapters on this book. It talks about how you like prioritizing your goals will only make your partner want you more. So look, at first, like the way the chapter is in this book is that it tells you something. Like it gives you a little bit right here. Like it pretty much tells you like the subject of what the chapter is gonna be. So, but just, just listen to this. Just, you could just read the subject alone 
and then leave. Right here, uh, chapter 17, it says, the masculine grows by challenge, but the feminine grows by praise. A man must be unabashed, unabashed and expressed in his appreciation for his woman, praise her freely. Like, come on, man. And that's basically what the book is about, man. You know what I mean? It's just insane. This is a book that my girlfriend actually drew in. My girlfriend draws in some of my books. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what she drew on this book. And I don't know if you guys want me to get into this one day or something, but that's not what the book is. That's not what this video is about. But yeah, man, that was The Way of the Superior Man. I honestly think that if you're a young buckaroo, or any age, any man, if you're a man, you should read this. This is a good book, honestly. And it definitely, uh, but yeah, this is a book that I would, that I do want to reread and uh, take some notes on, like actually write them down. But there are a lot of lessons in this book that are honestly very valuable. And I think that any, any guy reading this book could uh, take something away from this. This is a really good book, honestly. Now we're on the top two books. These are some of my I don't know. This is one of my favorite books, honestly. I think this book is one of those books that like really like just makes you think. It's a real thinker's book right here. And it's called The Metamorphosis. So yeah, man, it is it is a short book too, which is which I really like. I think this could even be a good book for a, like a first time reader if you're new to reading. Yeah, it's not it's not so much action. It's more of a book that it's like a book that makes you uh, that makes you think that you really can you can really dive deep into this book. Like, let me tell you guys what I took away from this book. So basically, the main character, and of course, there's gonna be spoilers. So basically, the main character in this book, he wakes up one morning, and he thinks that he's about to go to work like any other day. But uh, he actually ends up turning into a giant cockroach. And, and basically, at first, his whole family was like, which of course, they were shocked. There was, but then the sister was supportive. But after a while, the sister realized how, how he was basically dead weight and how they should get rid of him. And in a way, he was like turning to a cockroach more and more. Like first he had the body, but he also, he didn't crave the, f the food that a normal human would crave. He wanted to eat like trash basically. And then he would also get like very aggressive at times. So I guess he was slowly turning to a cockroach, like mentally as well. But then eventually he did, he does end up dying at the end of the book. And it is almost like the family was at first worried that he was a cockroach because he couldn't work. He couldn't work. That was like their main concern because they all depended on the main character, but he was a cockroach now. So he couldn't work and he couldn't, and the family was like, was in debt and you know, they were struggling. And I believe the sister couldn't work because she was too busy taking care of him, taking care of her brother who was now a cockroach. So yeah, man. And then at the end of the book, he ends up dying. And for the first time in a long time, the whole family goes out, like goes out of their apartment. And it is almost like if their, if their brother slash their son dying was a blessing in disguise because it was like if they were all depending on him. And then now that he was dead, it was like, okay, we can't depend on him now. Now we have to go do something, you know? So it's almost like if they just, it took them out of their comfort zone and now they could start living their lives, you know? Cause they had no one to depend on. Yeah, man, this is a classic for a reason by such a, like a famous author, Franz Kafka. I'm sure you've heard some of his quotes without you guys even knowing. But uh, yeah, man, I definitely want to read more of this author's books because this is such a, like, this is a book that's like very up my alley. Like it tells you a story, but there's philosophy involved. There's, when you finish the book, you can interpret in so many different ways. It's just, you know, like I'm sure someone could read this book and just have a completely different way of like thinking of it, you know, which is uh, amazing. That's what this, those are the kind of books that I like and I honestly really recommend this book I think it'd be a good a good book if you haven't read in a long time or if you've never read before this is definitely a good book to start with rarely do you ever hear oh this author is the goat but this author might be the goat and that is 
Fedor Dostoevsky, Crime and Punishment, one of the most famous books. But yeah, this is probably the author's most popular book, Crime and Punishment. Obviously, this is a classic, very well-known book. And I uh, honestly think it's one of those books that it's like, if you read, you have to read this book. It's the most detailed book that I've read so far. Um, it's definitely the longest book that I've ever read. Okay guys, finally back. My camera died. I went to Walmart, but now I'm back. And I got the lights on uh, up to brown since it's I'm about to go to bed. It's uh, about to be 10, but I gotta finish this up. I'm gonna just restart, bro, because I was trying to explain this book to you guys, but I kept stuttering. There's a reason why this is the author's most popular book. And I haven't read his other books, honestly, but I know he has other books that are also really good. Like he's, I have only ever heard that Fedor Dostoevsky is like the GOAT at writing, you know? Like I've never heard anyone else be uh, like called that, you know? Yeah, that I feel like that says something. And uh, yeah, man, this was definitely an incredible book. I love the ending. I love how, you know, at the end of the book, when the main character, Rosnikov, goes to prison, it talks about how he asked his, uh, pretty much his girlfriend, he asked his girlfriend for a Bible, and the book said how, how he wanted to change his life, you know, for the better. He wanted to really change, really learn more about God and stuff like that, you know? And the book said that, how that was a different story but for now, this story is ending. And let me just read it to you guys. So this is how the book ends in the epilogue. It says, But here begins a new account, the account of a man's gradual renewal, the account of his gradual re regeneration, his gradual transition from one world to another, his acquaintance with a new hitherto, hitherto completing unknown reality. It might make the subject of a new story, but our present story is ended. Insane. What a way to end the story. Definitely, I'd recommend this book. Maybe not start off with this book because it's really long and it can get boring at times. Sometimes it feels like, why is it so detailed, you know? Like, why is it describing his room so much? Why is it describing this? And, you know, sometimes it can be very long. It can be very, sometimes it can be a little bit boring, but yeah, man, I think I do think it's a great book. And this is honestly a book that I'm not gonna lie. I read like half of it. I read, I actually read half of the book and then I listened to the other half on audio, on, a, on audio because it was just, it was just really long, honestly. I felt like if I didn't listen to this book in audio, that it would just take a really long time. I'd probably still be reading it, honestly. But uh, yeah, man, I do think it's a great book. I definitely want to read more uh, Fedor Dostoevsky books. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This this is all the books that I've read since uh, since the, the Stranger. I'm gonna be making uh, these videos at least I don't even know, maybe like at least once, maybe twice a month, I'll be reviewing a book. So now, right now I'm reading To Kill a Mockingbird. There's gonna be the next review, guys. And, uh, and then I'm gonna be reading The Song of Achilles. So yeah, man, I'll give you guys homework if you guys wanna get started on this book. i am be reviewing this book very soon. Same thing with this one. So yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got an idea of what to read. Maybe there's something I reviewed here that you guys want to read. Um, I didn't really give any of these books a rating. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I didn't really give these books a rating. I think I will give books a rating, but just not right now. Yeah, I don't know. I think I gave you guys my thoughts of every book, so I don't feel like I really have to give the book a rating. I feel like my thoughts on the book, like what I've said of the books will, will say a lot more than a rating could say about them, you know, cause uh, cause yeah, man, I feel like that's not the best way to, 
I don't think that's the best way to do it. See, but I will, I will give other books a rating. Like uh, on my actual individual book reviews, I'll give a rating. I'll rate this book when I finish it. I'll rate The Song of Achilles when I finish it. So yeah, man, don't worry about that. I'll definitely do it. But yeah, man, for right now, for right now, guys, this video is gonna have to come to an end. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have an idea of what to read now. Hope you guys are inspired to read now. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Definitely gonna be reviewing more books, maybe like uh, once or twice a month. So uh, be on the lookout, guys. I'll catch y'all later.